In this lecture, we are going to talk about DynamoDB encryption. Now, DynamoDB encryption is integrated with the KMS service. DynamoDB provides server-side encryption at rest, and this is enabled by default. Of course, if you want, you can disable encryption, but by default, encryption is enabled, and this is transparent to the user. So if you log into your AWS console, you will still see the data, but it is still stored as encrypted. This of course uses KMS as I mentioned, and KMS uses 256-bit AES encryption for the encryption at rest. And we can use any of the CMK. CMK stands for Customer Master Key and that is the key we use for encryption so we can use either the aws owned cmk or the aws managed cmk or customer managed cmk all are supported and what gets encrypted is the primary key secondary indexes streams global tables backups and tax clusters so all of these things do get encrypted when you enable server side encryption now the encryption in transit now dynamodb always uses ssl endpoints so your connections from the application are always encrypted and if your application sits in a vpc then you can also use vpc endpoints and as i mentioned we use tls endpoints for encrypting data in transit and by default dynamodb only provides ssl endpoints so your data is always encrypted in transit now DynamoDB also provides something that's called as encryption client and you can use this if encryption is super important to you and you don't want to transfer your data unencrypted even on the SSL channel. When you use DynamoDB encryption client, you simply encrypt your data at the client side and insert into DynamoDB only the encrypted data. So DynamoDB has no way to decrypt it. You have to decrypt it on your own through your application. And this is for additional protection on top of the encryption in transit. Now this results in an end-to-end -end kind of encryption. Now remember that this doesn't encrypt the entire table it just encrypts attribute values and not the attribute names and this is kind of logical because otherwise dynamodb will not know what are different attribute names or what are the primary keys and it also doesn't encrypt the primary key attribute values because the primary key attribute values decide the partitions, DynamoDB does not encrypt the primary key attribute values. And you can selectively encrypt other attribute values. So if you do not want all the attribute values to be encrypted, you can selectively encrypt some of the attribute values. And you can encrypt selected items in the table or selected attribute values in some or all items. So it's all up to you what you want to encrypt. You can encrypt selected items or you can encrypt selected item attributes. It's all up to you. DynamoDB does not know that you have encrypted the data when you use encryption client. 